Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a swing trading strategy that I am currently using and it's really helping me gain more Orion tokens. So I'm swing trading to get more tokens rather than getting more USDT because USDT is depre depreciating in value while crypto is appreciating over time. So uh, I don't want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and you should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you were to follow this strategy, then you should do so at your own risk. Now, with that being said, so basically the idea that, that I have here is that currently my Orion tokens are at a loss because like most of my people and my subscribers in in the telegram chat have been buying orion i would say in this area most of them so right now we are at a loss and what i'm doing is i'm increasing my position with my orion tokens without without uh, adding more usdt into my account and you know buying orion with my fiat Rather, I'm just swing trading it. So basically what I mean by that is when I see Orion being overextended, I sell it. For example, I sell here and then I buy back in here. But I do so with minimal risk and I will show you how to do that once we get started. Now for this, we are going to be using the EMAs and the Relative Strength Index. So just going to change up the settings a bit. So it's a bit more easier for you to see. So we have the plot as yellow. There we go, like that. Right now, that is a bit more easy to see. And I'm going to set up the EMAs. And I always talk about the EMAs and how important they are for your charts and for your understanding of, of, of the charts, basically. It is imperative to you. So, Put on three EMAs to your chart. One is going to be the 20 day EMA, and we're going to have that as yellow. There we go. Next one is going to be the 55 EMA. We'll have that as red. There we go. And last but not least is going to be the 200 EMA, and that will be. That is usually acting as kind of the last support level, and that would be pink. Let it stay pink. So there we go. As you can see, on the 15-minute chart, we are in a downtrend. And I want to mention that we are going to be doing this on the one on the 15-minute chart. So that in mind. So really what we're looking for is for an overextension. And what I mean by overextension is Basically, we need to be oversold on the RSI and we need to be as far away from the EMAs as possible. So I'm going to give you a very, very good example. Let's see. So here, as you can see, we have been suppressed by the 20 EMA. We, we couldn't get through, but then we pushed on through. And this is where you want to sell. So this is where you want to sell because, because I will tell you why. Because the distance between the, the price and the EMA is great. Look at this. That is a lot of distance. That is a lot of space. You don't want to have that space. That is not healthy. That means that you're going to roll over. And usually when you get too overextended, you lose the EMAs as support. And as you can see, that is exactly what happened. And now we're being suppressed by the 20 EMA once again. So I would suggest you set up your sell orders way, way above. So if I was here, I would set my sell orders way above the 55 EMA because in case it pumps, my order executes and then I'm going to be able to buy back in. Now, where would I usually buy in? So for maximum, maximum uh, risk minimization, I buy in at a 10, 15, 20 cent difference. So for example, if I sell here, at eight dollars thirty cents, I would most likely buy back in at uh, let's see at eight dollars and twenty five cents or eight dollars twenty cents eight dollars fifteen cents. I wouldn't wait for the uh, that long because if I sell here and I want to buy back in here and the price comes back 
but doesn't touch my sell order and goes back up and I'm left down here and I don't want that to happen. So that is the risk that you have to understand with this strategy. So that's why you have to minimize your order sells here. You usually have to sell the wicks because that is when the price usually comes back down hard. So as you can see, we wick down here. That's where you could have sold. And one thing is you don't do this when you're at work or when you're busy. So you have to keep your attention to the charts. You have to, the charts need your full attention for you to be successful with this strategy. So you sold here, you buy back in, you know, you could buy in at an EMA retest. If you have steel nerves, well, then you can buy back in, you know, in a dollar's difference. So for example, you sold at eight, you bought back in at seven. But like I said, the price might not come back to that seven mark. It can just keep on going up, and that is the risk that you have to understand. I want to repeat that. So, you see that you're getting overextended on the EMAs. How do I confirm that with my relative strength index? And this is the relative strength index. So, as you can see here on the left, we have an index number. That shows us the level if an asset is overbought or oversold. Now, if we started to do something like this, and we went above this line over here, as you can see. If we go above that line, that is the 70, the 70 index number. That is the 70 level of the RSI. If we go over 70, that means we are oversold. So if we are in this area, that means that we are oversold. And that's how you confirm that the asset is oversold. And usually when we go up here, as you can see, we tend to go down because when we go up so high, there really isn't anywhere we can go but down. So basically using the RSI, you sell here and you buy back in here. That is that is really easy, guys. But like I said, if you don't have steel nerves, you don't want to risk it. Just take your Orion or provide liquidity at the Orion Protocol website. It is, you know, it is not for the weak hands because if you sell here, and the price goes up and you're, you're going to freak out and you're going to buy in higher. That way you reduce the amount of coins that you have. And you don't want to do that. You, you, you want to increase your position. So, so it is very important that you sell an asset when it, it is oversold on the 15 minute chart. For further confirmation, you can hop into the one hour chart and see what the RSI looks like over there because if the RSI shows 85 on the hourly and it shows 90 on the 15 minute chart, then yeah, you can sell off and wait for a couple of hours for the price to drop back down because the asset is oversold. That is really simple. That is how you use the EMAs for, for swing trading uh, using this strategy. So let's say the 200 EMA was below. Let's say this is the 200 EMA over here, this line. And we are in this, uh, and let's say the 55 EMA is below the 20 EMA. That is a healthy uptrend because when we are below the 200, we are in a downtrend, basically a mini bear market for Orion protocol right now. So you can look for the 200 EMA as support to buy back in. But once again, it doesn't usually come back down there unless there is a strong dip or a strong correction. So usually what would happen is you buy in at the 55 EMA. So this is the 55 EMA. I'm just going to draw it out. Why not? This is the 55 EMA and this is the 20 EMA. So if we get overextended like this, you sell over here and when the price comes back down, you either buy off the 20 EMA or the price comes back even lower, you can buy back in at the 55 EMA retest. So that that's basically how we do it. I know it's a bit messy, but hopefully you understand. It's just that Orion is in a downtrend right now. That is why the 200 EMA is above. So we don't have that support below the 20 and the 55 EMA. So yeah, one thing I do want to say is on the four hourly chart, if you're forming a bullish cross, and that means that the 20 EMA is crossing the 55 EMA like this, so basically this yellow line would have to cross this red line over here for a bullish cross. And that usually has 
a, a price pump. So when you see that is about to happen, you're better off not swing trading because you don't want to sell when there is a potential pump incoming. So you want to wait out for that pump, you want to sell the pump, and then you buy back in when the price comes back down. Because if you're oversold on the 4 hourly or on the, or on the daily chart, then you're most likely than not going to get a bit of a correction. So that is that is it, guys. Uh, you have to try this on your own. You have to try to try to paper trade it. Basically, just write down on a paper the trades that you would have made if you had real money on the asset, and see how it works out using the EMAs and the RSI. But using the RSI, as you can see, it is really easy to understand. If we get anywhere to this area over here, as you can see, once we get over this area, and that is towards the seventy. We come back down because, like I said, when you go up so high, the only place you can go is low. You go, you go back down, and that is where you want to buy. So, yeah, I minimize my risk just by, you know, selling at 80, buying back in at 790 or 785. I just don't want to have the, the stress. I don't want to say that I don't have diamond hands, but... I just don't want the stress of thinking or, you know, being worried about the price and not coming back down. So you're just better off selling and rebuying back in at the most, you know, efficient price for you. I could say just don't hold it for too long because you, you might sell and think, ah, I'll wait for a couple of days and then the price will come back, back down. But what the price does is it comes back down but not as low as you want it to and then it just pumps up and once it comes back down it won't even go down to this area that you sold that is an op that is something that could happen and that has happened to me so just be careful with this strategy especially if you're at a loss with orion because i am at a loss with orion and you know when you're at a loss and you're swing trading that is even more risk because if the price goes up without you then you're pretty much left with your money minus everything that you invested it in initially so keep that in mind and and yeah be careful with this strategy guys but it is definitely helping me out and you know don't be nervous that is my number one suggestion and and, and rule that i try to keep because if i sell and the price goes e even higher I know it won't go a lot more higher. And even if it does, I know it's going to retrace because the higher something goes up, the lower it's going to drop down. So you, you're going to have to know all these things. You, you should have a strong mentality, a strong mind for this. So if you sell and it goes up a couple of cents higher and you're like, oh, no, I could have sold higher, then don't, don't do this. This is not for you. You have to sell. Wait for a healthy correction. Wait for a little pull back and buy back in. So I'm okay making 50 bucks a day with this strategy. So yeah, to each his own guys. Uh, think of this. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let me know what strategies do you use? Do you swing trade or do you just hodl straight up? It would be very, very interesting to hear guys. But that is it for this video. I do apologize. I, I am rambling on. It's just that I'm a bit tired after work, but I wanted to get this video out for you because I think this might help out some of you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all the great, great comments, guys. And make sure to join in the Telegram chat. It is a great place to be at. So thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.